There are still many Perhaps refugees. Perhaps let me put some flowers there. So you found your brother? I did. Wasn't expecting that. I assume there was a time when you and he were friends. With Bartrand? No. Just brothers. Occasionally he wasn't insufferable. And yet you remained at his side. Too bad he didn't do the same. I'm sorry. I thought it would end here. Young Master Hawk destroyed Flint Company. None remain. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. My... Hawk? We were just talking about you. Carry on. I love to eavesdrop. Hawk said sarcastically. You know I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered in an angry aside to the dwarf. If, uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired Flint Company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. They were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Any idea why they turned on you? Money? Power? It's hard to say. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. This is why the cycle of violence never gets broken. You jest, but that's the truth. Give this up, Sebastian. Dedicate yourself to the Chantry as you swore. I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself a target. Why is everybody looking at me? I don't know why choir boy here didn't yell Hawk to the rescue. That's clearly what he was going for. If this allows Sebastian to make peace, it is worth doing. You've taken on lesser causes. Please. I have no one else to turn to. If you like, I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry.
I can make it for you. So, choir boy, this usurper of yours is, uh, 20 feet tall? Not even close, no. But he has claws for hands, right? Fingers. Perfectly normal ones. If a little fat, perhaps. He eats babies, though, and farts fire. <laughs> You're not serious, I hope. <laughs> you can't even pretend to be interesting, can you? Strange. The door's wide open, and not a single guard posted. This is not the Lady Harriman I remember. There is something very wrong in here. of a bitch what's taking so long flora why does no one in this house care what i want more wine or i swear i will drown you in the dregs that sounds familiar i don't envy anyone in this household tomorrow morning she doesn't even see us this is no normal wine More locks. It must be molten. You, more coins. I want every scrap of gold in this house. Please, monsieur! There's nothing to fear. You'll be beautiful. Pour it over her. Don't! You'll kill her! He can't hear me. be the one. We must end this madness.
I visited this house often as a child. They could not have concealed such goings on. Oh! <laughs> Lower! Lower! I beg your pardon, Hawk. I did not mean to expose you to such things. No! The feather! Use the feather! Where have you been all my life? Today, I am more than a man. Come, felicitate me! He has no idea we're here. I've known Ruxton Harriman my whole life. He's a complete prude. Where's your brother? Let's ask him to join us. Now, you be the naughty apprentice, and I'll be the Templar torturer. We're good to... You be the naughty apprentice, and I'll be the Templar torturer. Turn back. There is nothing here for you. Odd. When we watched you being a drunken ass, you ignored us completely. You shall not enter. We must see what greater evil they were protecting. So close to high town. I remember no such thing. In the shadows, more of them.
of your children. Good to go.
Darkhaven will not submit. I put that idiot Goran Vale into the prince's seat, but the other families won't heed him. I must marry him to Flora and solidify our hold. But I need more power. I've given you much. Your desires run deep. You've already traded your husband and your children. What more can you offer? What bargain have you made? Who is this? Who are you? How did you get here? Sebastian! You were my mother's friend. How could you murder her? Such an ugly word. I prefer remove the only obstacle between her and her dreams. This was your idea. I could create such desires if I wished. But it's far easier to nurture those that already exist. The desire for power is easy to find. You and your friend both possess it, do you not? You both wish to rise. Not if it meant selling out my family. How loyal were your friends to you? Everyone has a price. Everyone wants something. Do not listen to her. Oh, such a pious soul, masking so much ambition. Are you so different from my lady? You yearn for the same lands, the same power. I am the rightful heir. She is a usurper and murderer. You swore to put aside worldly goods and ambitions, but they couldn't stop you from wanting them. You and Lady Harriman are fighting for the same thing, aren't you? Regaining my birthright is hardly the same as stealing it from another. But you want it. You had resigned yourself to letting your brother rule. Yet now, that seat glitters before you. You've always wanted it. You needn't deny it any longer. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Let us return to the Chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. for Lady Harriman's soul. Sebastian, I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do, what those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. You... You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made Mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Don't blame your mother. 
the desire demon made this happen. I doubt many people will be so forgiving. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Take that offer, Elf. It'd keep the coterie off your back pretty much permanently. I don't need employment. But it wouldn't kill you to make some friends in this city. Three years and you're practically a ghost. I prefer it that way. Healthy attitude there. <laughs> Forget I said anything. I hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch, but I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. Watch behind the ears. Evil usually gets stuck there. The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? Or simply to have what I never thought I could? Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were... rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the Chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. You seem very dedicated to the Chantry. You were put there against your will. At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The Chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. Killing a few hundred more bandits ought to help you make up your mind. <laughs> you do have a unique way of working out your inner struggles, Hawk. Enough of this. I will make no decision today. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company men did some looting. I figured I'd return the favor. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. 
You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the eye slit of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. But my parents pledged me to the Chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. I'm sorry I never got a chance to meet them. To save them. I know. You're a true friend, Hawk. You brought me this to remember and honor them. But if I could bring back our lowest servant by snapping it in half, I'd do it without regrets. Your grandparents would be so proud of you. When I was a girl, the Amels were one of our most prominent families. I'm glad to have one of their line in the estate again. How can I help you? You knew my grandparents. I dedicated your mother into the Chantry. She was a beautiful baby. Your grandmother was a very proper lady, but she was beside herself that day. And your mother put a fist in my eye. How long have you been Grand Cleric? I became a lay sister here when I was only a girl. My parents died of fever, and I was taken in by the Chantry. Eventually, I took my vows. After I had served for some time, the revered mothers agreed that I should travel to Orlay. The Divine herself appointed me Grand Cleric of Kirkwall. That was near 30 years ago. What is the Chantry's stance on the Kunari presence here? Would it help anything for us to get involved? Or is it more likely to light the kindling? If the Kunari act against us, the Templars will defend Kirkwall. Otherwise, we guard ourselves best by waiting. I'd always welcome your benediction. Andraste, guide your steps in this difficult time. Tell us about Starkhaven, choir boy. I'm sure we're all burning with curiosity about your faraway land. <laughs> My faraway land? It's inland free marches, not on the moon. Huh. And here I was hoping. It's a lot like here, but fewer dead people. Well, you don't have Hawk. Are you an Andrastian, Fenris? If I say no, will you attempt to convert me? Many elves believe in the Maker. I ask only because I wonder if your experiences... ...soured your faith. My faith was never strong. It's difficult for a slave to have faith in someone who abandoned them. The Maker didn't enslave you, Fenris. He didn't help me much, either. And yet you stand here free. Perhaps he helped you more than you think. You got my letter. You've been gone a while. I thought you had things under control. I told you I would handle this. 
and I did. Now, after a year of raids on our shipments, I finally caught one of the culprits. One of our miners, Sabine, has been leaking information. Do you know him? He claims to be from your hometown in Ferelden. I would like you to get this festering saw to divulge who is behind the theft. When you are ready, I will bring Sabine to you. Who is this man? I would not expect you to recall every piss pot from your past. That's the problem with being a big fish in a small pond. I could never tell the little fish apart. Well, he brags to his fellows that he grew up with you in Lothering. Bring Sabine back to my place. Excellent idea. I will get him now. Here is the dung pile I caught leaking next week's shipment schedule. He won't tell me who he's working with. Who else has been screwing <clears throat> me over? Tell me, you ratting mongrel! He can't talk with a mouthful of broken teeth. Please, monsieur, help me. I knew you since you was young and loathering. I knew your mum's family and your pop. Mike, you got him rest. Pathetic. I leave this bastard in your capable hands. Get me when he's ready to talk. Thank you, monsieur. Us loathering folks should stick together. What made you betray your employer? Before the blight, my family had a good life in Lothering. Clean home, fertile land, friends, and Kirkwall, we lived in a hovel. People spit on us, and some days we went hungry. Trust me, things could be worse. Tell me how to stop the next ambush. As soon as I tell Hubert what he wants to know, he'll kill me or throw me in prison. My life's not worth much, but my family. I only wanted to give my wife and son a better life. I'll deal with you, Bear. Just give us something to go on. Oh, thank you, Monsieur. I'll talk. Hawk, this is Lily of the Coterie. Given the importance of stopping the cargo robberies, I have enlisted a consultant. Consultant? Sure. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Well, Doug, are you ready to bark now? There's an ambush. Planned tonight at Dietrich Crossing. Tonight? That leaves you barely enough time to intercept them. You had best leave immediately. We'll protect your precious shipment. But make sure you have the Coterie's payment. Want me to deal with this runt? Free of charge. I'll drop him in a ditch on our way out. Yes, take him. With my blessing. I assume my partner will not object. Sabine's been a helpful chap. Plus, he says our villains threatened to kill his wife and son. They even killed his dog, to prove a point. His dog, you burn. You know how important they are to Ferelden's. Huh. There's a thousand such sub-stories in Lowtown. This does not make it right what he did. But it takes the sting off. After all I've done for these poor refugees. All you've done? Sabine is grateful for all your generosity, and his heart grieves that he must leave. Now. Oh, thank you, Miss Hayes. I know I don't deserve it, but thank you. We're wasting time. If you find naught but corpses at the ambush, it won't be my fault. We're too late for your boys, but we'll make the rotters pay. Help me! 
<laughs> that was almost too easy. Wait, I recognize that lout. Who is he? He's in the coterie. One of that damned fool Brecker's men. So your organization is behind this? We got explicit orders not to. Hubert's been good on his payments. If Brecker ordered this, the rest of his life will be very short and painful. Tell me about this man. He operates out of the south side. Always had more balls than sense. His lackeys are loyal. Brecker must be involved. Let's pay Brecker a social call. We've got a lot to talk about. I've got to be sure first. I know who to lean on to get answers. Find me in the Undercity. dedicated in the faith of the church. I have no memory of my childhood. Daenerys had no desire to teach his slaves anything that made them think they're worthy beings. I'm sorry. I can't imagine how difficult your life has been. No, you can't. Whether you were taught it or not, the Maker has room at his side for every soul, even yours. You coterie, one of Lily's friends. Lily was one of ours. She was working for you, and now she's dead. You get one chance. Did you kill her? Stop and think about it. We're being played. Explain yourself. This is a case of the right hand not knowing what the left is doing. One of the scum that attacked my caravans worked for someone in the coterie named Brecker. Lily said she'd look into it. I think Brecker had her killed. Brecker? Hmm. If you're lying, I'll find you. Men, we have to get to the bottom of this. Now. Turn up your purses, Kurtwall. The leases of Javaris Tintop are up for grabs. Someone's left a surprise here. Don't leave any witnesses! <laughs> <laughs>
Everyone stay still and try not to make any loud noises. Easy as pie. You must be Brekka. And you're that lice-covered refugee. You'd better leave the Bone Pit shipments alone, understand? You're making demands of me. You own half a stake in a mine and you think you're somebody, huh? Some Ferelden's don't have the courtesy of knowing when to bloody die. I found the thieves responsible for the cargo theft. I put them out of business. Excellent. With that resolved, the mine's profits will soar. For now, partner, please be sure to visit our workers occasionally. You have a knack for keeping them happy. <laughs> <laughs> 